Hey guys, you're watching the best damn pools of the week. I am Gian Perez. With me as always, Kat here at DJ's Universal Comics in Studio City. I've been reading comics since the early 90s, late 80s. And Kat, I've been running a business now with, uh, with DJ's Universal Comics with almost 20 plus years now. I'm uh, in Studio City, like Gian mentioned. Focus mostly on new books, weekly pools, but we have back issues, recent back issues, but uh, I love what I do. Before we get into picks of the week, Kat, you, you got some uh, Well, there's, some I've been DC talking news. about this, you know, DC's G5 or whatever they're calling right. it. So one of the things I talked about in the previous shows was the fact that some of our standard heroes that we've known for 80 years are gonna become obsolete. When one of the things that we're doing, what I heard that was gonna happen was, they're gonna kill the Superman persona. The next year storyline, Dark Metal 2 is gonna send everything into. When you, when you say Superman persona, you mean. I mean, Clark Kent. Yeah, the, Clark Kent. Like, I mean, he's Clark, just gonna stop pretending so to be a come, human. You know, this week's Superman issue, there's gonna be some big reveals. If you guys haven't read number 17, you know he's about to spill the guts on. And the whole caption was that uh, the secret is out. The big secret is out. Clark Kent is Superman, you know, so. DC is gonna do away with the Superman persona, I mean, with the Clark Kent persona for Kal-El. The key part on this is the fact that what they're doing with Jonathan when they age them and bend this with the Legion of Superheroes, they're taking them to the future mm -hmm. to start, to train them to be Superman. I mean, that's the key. Jonathan's gonna take over for, for his dad in the coming year, uh, probably in 2021. But if you guys missed it, and I, I haven't seen it in any any of the sites that speculate or anything, but last week's Green Lantern, Bla Green Lantern Black Stars 2, number two, introduces Jonathan as Superman. So not Superboy, but Superman. So we got a and second two, to last panel. There's two key panels. Yeah, you have, this is Superman. We have the planet, we have you surrounded. And then you got the last page where he comes in as Superman. Yeah. So for those speculators there, this might be, might be a key book, key a book in yeah. a year when Jonathan replaces his dad as Earth Superman. I, I was like, whoa, it's Jonathan. So this could be a first appearance yeah, a absolutely. year from now. Literally the only book I want to read this week is just the Superman 18 just to see and i do expect the book to be pretty hot i think i anticipated for it when you go there tomorrow pick up your book see if they have any green lanterns too left because it will go i think this book is going to be really good down the line captain marvel for instance one of their the lowest selling titles kelly thompson just flipped the script on this book you know with last issue with, she's the last avenger mm -hmm. i mean i don't know where in, where the story falls but i think it's a future storyline yeah I mean, she ended up killing Thor last issue. Now number 13 comes out tomorrow, like there's five left. Right. Who's she gonna go after? For Captain Marvel, this is the best story, I've, I best one issue, two issue punch I've seen from Kelly Thompson yeah. as long as she's been on this book. We're finally seeing Carol do something more than just live life. Right. You know, to where, you know, you, again, you pick up a book like Avengers where she's part of and you see her do things, you know, now I get to see it in her own book. There's and some I'm, action. There, there's definitely action packed. Yeah. And you got Mark Brooks covers to top it all right. off. And you got Hink Young Lee variants. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's Captain Marvel. Saving that for later, folks. Ghost Rider, Ed Brisson, those books, those one and two, they were really good. Issue three comes out tomorrow. Again, we a lot of people have been jonesing for, for Ghost Rider books, merchant, you know, just product in general and Immortal Hulk. 28. You know, somebody mentioned on the channel that they, they're canceling the, the Hulu. Well, yeah, because uh, I heard it's going to Disney Plus because of Figgy taking control of everything. So he wants, he wants it's something bigger. Yeah, he wants, same. he wants Makes something sense. bigger out of it than just whatever they plan to do right. with it. And I think again, it was going to be Robbie Rares. I think we're going to see Johnny and Danny and Robbie as part. So they're going to be like a bigger Ghost Rider the Spirits show. Spirits of Vengeance. The Spirits of Vengeance. Yeah. yeah. Uh, going back to the picks, Immortal Hulk. I mean, it's that, talk about a book that's, he just declared war on humanity last issue. Namor, the whole common talk between Namor and, it was nice to see Amadeus Cho talk to Banner and then Namor's in the background waiting to jump in if anything went south. <laughs> I, I was a really solid issue, you know, just to see 
the direction that Al Ewing is taking the Hulk and after this because again I think that they're going to switch the title from Immortal Hulk to something else eventually right. so now you're seeing where it's going to go because he's not he's not as of last issue or the issue before he's not you know time managed by the sun anymore he can actually be the hulk in the sun so we'll see where where that goes but it's been good so annihilation scourge uh, that first issue was you get to the last page and freaking sentry's the villain this is great you're actually going to get to see marvel's superman be bad right because i mean they've used them but they've used them so sporadically and just i mean the the last good fight we got with sentry or just anything with sentry was the war world hulk when he went up against the hulk and i think hulk beat the, the living daylights out of him so it's going to be interesting to see this and i love he's he's one of those characters that people like they haven't really been able to figure out how to use him. well I, it, because he is superman and the whole idea, I think, I remember back in the day. Or like an anti-Superman. Well, yeah. I remember one day when he was brought in play was because Superman was, the people that owned Superman, they were threatening to take it away from DC. Right. And Marvel said, well, we can do a Superman. So they created the Sentry to show that they can do a Superman. Well, they couldn't really. <laughs> but uh, look, it's working better now than before, right. I think. So I'm loving these Annihilation books. You get to see all your space heroes, you know, Better Ray Bill. You got Silver Surfer in this week. And you got the Silver Surfer with the black. Oh, so infected. He's infected. Or symbiote. Symbiote, symbio, whatever it is. Yeah. So watch out for, I mean, that Thanos second print cover with him on the cover keeps climbing yeah, and climbing. absolutely. And you got the X books, man. These X books. I, I, was, I was so surprised when I was looking at the sales for last month. New Mutants number one was the number one selling book. Really? For Marvel. I had no idea. Me neither. Yeah. I'm like, dude, it's, and I felt it was like the, art-wise, because I'm not a big Phil Noto fan, I'm like, really, this is number one? I mean, I knew it was huge and they sold out. So you got New Mutants number three. I think, you know, New Mutants is one of those titles that so many, just so many people, so many people love. Like yeah. that's like if you if you started in the mid '80s. That's you know, what it was. New Mutants. Yeah, you New had Mutants was, Rob Liefeld came on the scene on that book. Right. And Cable came out of that book, and all those characters are like. I they just they got a, a lot of people want a, a New Mutants like figure set because they've never released like the complete. Yeah, if you need, you can you can you have to chase. What's the character that has the multiple heads? Mirage. You can do. Like, oh yeah, so you could do like Danny Moonstar, Moonstar and, and Wolfsbane. Right. They still haven't made a they haven't made a Sunspot figure. They haven't made. You know? They haven't made it. Yeah. Well, you got that old Toy Biz one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, so you got Fallen Angels, which was surprisingly good. Number three with Rab with Quantum running around and Baby Cable and X-23 and then X-Force. Man, that last issue with, they're using Domino to create these super soldiers where they're undetectable by Krakoa and that's how Xavier got killed. It, it's 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 a good week for Marvel. I mean, it's pretty, it's a good week for comics They're going general. hard with the X-Books. As for variants this week, Kat already told you, Captain Marvel number 13, Low print run does not sell well whatsoever, but it's an awesome in Hyuk Lee cover. It's a connecting cover. It's got, I think it's got Star. It's got, right. it looks like Black Panther punching Star in the face, but it's an awesome looking cover. And you know it's going to be very hard to find to the point where I think this might be my pick of the week, depending on what happens. Is that an incentive? Book? I don't think it's an incentive. Right? It's a connecting okay. cover. It's like, oh, that's right. It's connecting. Yeah. So, but you don't order much of this book. No. Most people don't order. Like, wh whenever a first appearance in Captain Marvel comes out, you, you can call around the entire city of Los Angeles and nobody has it. Because nobody buys them. Nobody, buys nobody them reads the book. book. So, and it's got Mark Brooks cover and it still doesn't sell. Yeah. So it's a it's a really nice really nice cover. I'm, as you guys know, I'm a big In Hyuk Lee fan, but uh, it's going to be a tiny print run as well because it's a variant. So you keep your eyes peeled for that one. Then we got a Mortal Hulk number 28, Dale Kewen Hulk cover. Uh, I don't know if it's incentive or if it's an open order variant, but it's super nice. Dale Kewen, this this is his wheelhouse. They're doing the Iron Man 2020 think because Tony Stark is going to get replaced by Arnold Stark as Iron Man 2020. So yeah, that's a freaking badass cover. Yeah, it's a cool cover. It's got him with some, some with armor Iron Man on. like tower. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's pretty dope. I like it. It's like the Hulkbuster 2020 armor. And then finally, Symbiote Spidey Alien Reality number one. It's a Mark Cicchetto Young Guns cover. I picked this cover because it sold out on Midtown, which is always a good sign. That's going to do it for us this week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Ring the bell if you are. I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to say it again. Uh, we will see you next time. Cat, take us away. Holidays are coming. 
get out there instead of buying your, your presents online amazon whatever go in the comic book store support the guy you know they, we have cool product every one of us has different stock worthy of a somebody's christmas present you know whatever it is from your ten dollar item to your ten thousand dollar item sure exactly support the local guy oh shit let me take this one